Hey, hey, good morning, good morning, guys. Welcome into the show. We're just getting our day started. That's right. Right, Jesse? We are getting our day started. Ah, there you are. <laughs> you like that bright light, don't ya? Guess what else we're doing? Getting ready to have us a good breakfast tomato sandwich. We got some uh, smoked ham and cheese. And we got our leftover cake from yesterday and a good cup of coffee. And we're back in business. Yeah. Gonna have us a really, really good breakfast, I think. All right, guys, we just took us a shower, getting ready to uh, head out. Yeah, I know I'm supposed to leave at three o'clock. So uh, yeah, it's slight flurries out there. And our Jesse is happy. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, she always likes to be on camera, eh? Yeah, I know. Every time I turn on the camera when she's in the room, she gets all excited. Saying, I wanna be on camera, I wanna be on camera. <laughs> yeah, anyways, getting ready uh, with all my stuff here and, and then we'll uh, go down to the truck and uh, get all my stuff in it. I don't know why it's doing that for some odd reason. It keeps quit recording on me, I don't know why. But anyways, we'll get all our uh, stuff in the truck and uh, get ready to go and hit the road. I'm supposed to deliver there at 5 a.m. in the morning on Monday, so I kind of want to leave a little earlier than what they told me. I think three o'clock is kind of late in all reality because it's like over 1,300 kilometers. So if I leave at three o'clock, you know, to go over there, it takes me an hour to get hooked up, do my paperwork, log in, do my pre-trip and all of that, right? update the website probably and stuff like that then it's four o'clock well now i'm gonna have to drive till eight o'clock tonight if that's the case right just to be able to make it down there for tomorrow night so i'll be kind of late so i want to get uh, get going here and at least get a little bit earlier right so anyways let's go down to the truck and get my stuff ready and hit the road all right guys we have now just hit the road we're a little bit outside of steinbach and we have pretty heavy winds today again. Yeah, wind is coming straight out of the out of the north. I'm guessing now it's trying to cool everything down. Uh, on my way home last uh, Thursday night, um, the wind was coming very strong out of the south, pushing in some warmer temperature, and now it's pushing very strong from the north, trying to push to a warm south and pushing some cold air it feels like but anyways uh we're just giving her now i uh, picked up this load and uh, of course our scale is still not fixed at the yard i don't know when they're going to get around to actually doing that but i'm going to go up here to the dot scale and i'm going to scale it over there because uh to me, according to my gauge, it looks like I'm a little heavy on the drives. I don't have much room to slide my trailer axle anymore, but I hope I can make it legal. But I know these loads are always very heavy. Plus, I mean, I'm full tank of fuel too, right? So that could be another issue, another reason. But anyways, let's get on down over there and uh, scale this load see if we can make it legal if we can we'll be able to continue on cruising along if not oh well i'll have to uh i'll have to bring it back to the yard i guess that's all i can do right the driver who picked it up is supposed to scale it over there to make sure it is legal to go into the united states but a lot of drivers they're too lazy they don't want to go over to the dot scale and scale it over there you know and then later on, you know, they just drop it here and don't worry about it, right? It's not their problem, right? But hey, sometimes it comes back to bite them in the ass if that happens. I've, uh, I've known a guy that had done that once. And uh, sure enough, when he went to go out again, he had to hold that load because nobody else could hold it legally. And he was forced to hold it because uh, 
he was supposed to make sure that the load was legal to go into the U.S. Station ahead. When he originally picked it up out there in the West somewhere, you know. But hey, that's why you're supposed to do your job, right? Anyways, I'm going to go down there and scale it and we'll find out if it's legal or not. Here I am at the DOT scale, guys. I'm going to roll over the scale here real slowly. Luckily, they do have like an axle weight type of... Uh, scale here so I'm just gonna write down what my numbers are and remember this is in kilograms so for the American folks you may not know what these numbers mean but I bought 15,400 kilograms on a drives is what would be legal and it looks like we're sitting at 16,000 uh, 16, on our drive so that means we are actually about 500 kilograms over or 600 kilograms so let's see what we are on our trailer I kind of suspected that we were over I really did so let's get on here with our trailer looks like we're on ay 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 I'm actually sitting at 15,450 kilograms or 15 440 I guess I could say with my uh, trailer so yikes yeah there's no way I can make this legal so I'm gonna have to go ahead and call dispatch and see what they want me to do I'll just go around and park over there and I'll call dispatch all right got off the phone with dispatch and they told me to come back to Steinbach and go over here to big freight and scale it over there so that's what we're doing right now we're already back here uh, back to Steinbach and uh, we're just about to get to big freight up here and uh, we're going to be uh, scaling this load over here I'm pretty sure that I'm over I mean I can see it on, on my gauge if the DOT scale was out that was one thing but my gauge over here that would be two things that tells me that I'm overweight right and so I'm pretty sure that the DOT scale was correct but we're going to do what this patch tells us to do right we're going to go over here scale it over here and double check if that's out too well hey Nothing I can do about it. They're going to have to find me another load or do something with this load or whatever, right? Because I'm pretty sure I'm about 800 to 1,000 pounds over according to my uh, calculations that I did over there. So, uh, I mean, I do have a slightly little bit of room on the, on the steers, but it's not enough to, uh, to make it to where I could be legal on my drive. So... We'll go in here, this is big freight right up here, and uh, we'll go in here and scale it. I guess we'll find out the moment of truth, right? All right, here we go. We're going to do this once more. We got to write down our numbers again. I got the uh, sign up there. That's how I look. I'm sitting at 11,000. 600 on the uh, on the steers I know I'm always a little light on the steers so I'm guessing they could have made it to where I'm a little heavier I guess on the on the steers but can't do anything about it see I'm sitting at 34,960 pounds this one actually has it in pounds 34 960 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my phone and uh, I'm going to see if I can maybe take a picture of it. Let me see if I can actually do that. Yeah, I can actually snap a picture of that scale. There we go. So I can, I can show my dispatch what I'm at, right? So she can't just say I'm trying to fool them, right? Not happening because the sign is right here right you guys can probably see it all right there we go that's how we'll look we're sitting at 34,000 exactly pretty much 33,000 
Well, it's evening out. I am totally on the scale 100%. So we're sitting at 33. 840 is what this thing is saying. Let me just release the brakes. So that way there is no pressure on it. Okay, now we're sitting at uh, 33, 33,940. So this way there is no pressure on the uh, on the plate, right? I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. So there we go. Take another picture of that. Let's go back to the yard and see what this batch wants me to do. So I have no room to put anything more on the on the trailer so anyhow let's see what happens guys wish me luck all right we talked to dispatch and she said all right let's drop the trailer here and she's going to try and find me something else in the meanwhile she wants me to go back over to big freight and just get a weight of my truck with full fuel right i'm full fuel anyways they always make sure here in the yard they fuel it up and so she wants me to go back there and just scale the truck alone by itself so uh, she says this way it will give her a, a little bit of an idea on uh, how heavy my truck is and she's gonna look uh, on the system right to see if they have a truck that's lighter than mine and maybe that truck can haul it if nothing else then I guess they have to either take some stuff off or take it back to the shipper or something because it's overweight right at least for my truck it is. I was uh, 34,960 pounds on the drives and 33,940 or 60 pounds on the trailer, something like that. So uh, yeah, I'm way too heavy, that's for sure. But anyways, let's go back here and uh, scale the truck by itself. See what that's gonna look like. Just finished scaling my truck and we are sitting at 21,040 pounds as the weight for my truck alone so there you have it now you're gonna get to see a little bit of driving in uh, Steinbach I guess <laughs> and I know some people have asked me hey why don't you ever show too much driving in, uh, in Steinbach well you'll get plenty of bl plenty of that to see today I guess going back and forth to Big Freight <laughs> yeah well yeah, it's just how it goes. So I guess I'll go back to the yard here and uh, find out if they got anything else for me. If not, I guess I can go home. <laughs> yeah, well, one of those days, one of those days. Good thing I did try to start early, right? So this way I could figure all of this stuff out before uh, dispatcher and all of them go home. Usually they go home at 4 o'clock and it's already 3.22 in the afternoon. This is the time I was supposed to originally leave, so I would have been kind of in a bad predicament if I didn't leave early or try to leave early, right? Yeah, and then I would have had to call after hours and then there would have been guaranteed no load today. And Now there's actually a slim, slim chance that I might actually get a different load, right? So we'll see. We'll see what happens, but... Anyhow, let's go find out. All right, I didn't tell you guys yet where we uh, ended up going. Is uh, well, obviously back to the yard, and then uh, I had to wait there a few minutes till they uh, figured everything out. They had to switch some loads around and stuff, right? So uh, finally, uh, we ended up uh, getting a load uh, out of Winnipeg Terminal, going to uh, Saint Paul, Minnesota. And then once I'm offloaded there, I'm heading to Decal, Illinois, and then uh, to Calgary, Alberta. So it actually turns out to be a pretty decent run. So I really, really like that. So we ended up uh, uh, going to Winnipeg, pick up the load, and uh, I ended up going all the way down into the States, into Grand Forks, North Dakota. That's where we're at right now. So. Uh, yeah i didn't show you guys any of that because it got really dark already and it was very very windy and i think the uh 
temperature is going to be dropping rapidly tonight so I am pretty sure of that anyhow I think I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here I appreciate you guys watching today's vlog I really do with that being said we're out of here we'll see you back here tomorrow have a great day everybody